having such an eccentric name, it's hard to sit there in shackles and not feel like a joke. When your name's reality, people actually don't view you like a real person. I had no idea who Reality Winner actually was, and I stumbled upon a long-form feature about Reality Winner. Something when I was first reading the transcript and learning about who Reality was was just how unexpected this young woman was. She was in the Air Force. She spoke three Arabic languages. She owns three guns, but she teaches yoga. She's super into kale bowls. And she's like wearing Pikachu. You watch this sort of regular young woman go toe to toe with FBI agents. Like she's wearing jean shorts. She's got a top knot. I think really was such a fascinating, unexpected person to be at the heart of essentially a geopolitical scandal. Reality has a lot of complexities. There's so many contradicting layers to her, but I love diving into those. I think that sometimes a lot of people can think that being a woman is one note or one layer, and there's so much more to it, and especially Reality Winner. Who is Reality Winner? I don't have the best answer. You know, I know I'm a woman, I know I have a family, I have dogs. I know I'm a veteran, I'm a coach. I know that I'm not what this government said about me. I know that I was ready to take responsibility for breaking the law on day one. It's just too much to sit back and watch it and think, why do I have this job if I'm going to be helpless? The day that I was arrested, in 2017, I was completely blindsided. I had a normal morning, up at the gym early, went grocery shopping, came home, and all of a sudden these cars pulled up. And when they started talking about looking for a document, I knew I was in trouble, but I didn't know how much, how severe this situation would escalate. I didn't know that I was about to play chess for my life with the FBI for the next three hours. I cannot read the interview or see a reenactment of it. And my heart goes out to the millions of Americans who don't get a film made about their arrest saying the truth about them. These days, my life is, I get up really early, I coach a 5 a.m. CrossFit class. And then from the moment I get home, I run out, I feed the chickens, the dogs need to go on a walk, and then I'm right back out the door to coach the next CrossFit class and competing in CrossFit. I'm just blessed with this work schedule that allows me to be there for my animals, I can be there for my family. The experience of leaking a document, getting arrested for it, and going through four years of jail and prison and another three years of probation taught me that the most important thing in life is family. And sitting in that jail cell, I knew I shouldn't have left home for one stupid act that ripped everything apart, but then brought my family back together stronger than it's ever been. So what's next for Reality Winner? I plan on starting a nonprofit organization called the Real Winner Foundation. I'm very interested in reforming the juvenile criminal justice system and catching at-risk youths before they're entered in the system. So it could save a life. The fact that this interrogation has made it from play to film is absolutely surreal. And to have an audience kind of register with that helps us move forward as a family.